Hello and welcome to the SJH Show with me, Samuel Higgins. Now, we're on a totally different game today. We're not on Minecraft. We're on a brand new game. This is Game Dev Tycoon by the indie company Green Heart Games. Now, I've been watching so many videos on this game and I have been loving it. So I've decided to buy it myself. £6.83 it costs. I really suggest you should go out and buy it right now because it is a brilliant game. Um, I haven't actually played it yet so I can't really say it's a brilliant game but what I've seen um, and read about it, it is really good. So I really want to try it out right now and I want you guys to be involved as well. So here we go. Wait for it to load. Oh. Right, so we have to pick a company name for um, this this games company. So, what should we call it? Uh, SJH Games. There we go. SJH Games. And um, what should the guy be who runs SJH Games? Um, um, It's, it's just going to have to be me. <laughs> Sam Higgins, there we go. And... There we go, great hair there. Uh, there we go, there we go. That is not what I look like, but that's what... That's what Sam Higgins in the game is going to be like. Oh, so we've got an achievement, a supporter. There we go, that's good. Now, what am I doing? Oh, I think the tutorial has been taken off, which is actually good because it is annoying so let's jump straight in and develop a new game ah oh, here we go here's the tutorial before development can begin you have to decide what kind of game you want to create and give your game a name you can also select which graphic technology your game should use right okay your options are initially limited, but once you have a bit of experience, you will be able to unlock new options. Right, so, I've learned from other videos that it's best to do all this first and then come up with a name. So, let's pick a topic. Uh, there is there is so many topics, this is going to be great. Um, I think we should start off with a medieval. Medieval game, and it's going to be. Um, let's make it a action game, and it's going to be either the PC or the G64. The PC is cheaper, so we'll go for that first. And the game is. Um, what should we call it? Um. I can't think of a name for the game. Um, Castle Wars. That that is that is SJH Games' first game. Castle Wars. All right. So next, we need to pick the graphics. So is it a text-based game or a 2D graphics? We haven't got much cash, but I'm gonna risk it. This might be a bad idea, but I'm risking it and going for 2D graphics. Starting development. Here we go. This is up here. Is um like where my character Sam Higgins does all the development. So you'll see bugs appearing, design, technology, and research. And with research, we can use the research points to research new topics and new stuff to make the games better. So. Game development runs through three stages. At the beginning of each stage, you can decide what areas of the game you want to focus on. Picking the right focus for your game greatly increases the points you generate. Yeah. Think about what areas are important for your game and decrease the focus on areas you think are less important. If you want to read a brief description, nah, we don't want to do that. Right, okay. So, Castle Wars. Um, we want to really focus it on the gameplay. There's not much story or quests. Actually, we want a bit. We want engine. Yeah, we'll do that. That that should be fine. So here we go. 
He's thinking away. Game development has now started. While developing your game, you will generate game points. Yep, which you can see bubbling up, which I've already talked about. So uh, the more points you generate, the better the game will be. All right. So from time to time, there will also be bugs. These points become less likely once you gain experience. Ah, oh, that's good. Bugs need to be fixed before the game can be released and increase development time and cost. Right. So at the moment there's two bugs. Oh, there's three now. Anyway, uh, development stage two, dialogues. We don't want much dialogues. Level design we want to focus on a lot. AI, yeah, a bit. Let's do a bit more dialogues. There we go. That should be fine. Okay. Go on, Sam. Do your work. Alright. During development, you can also select additional features for your game. Right now, you can only pick basic sounds, but your options will increase quickly. Selecting additional features makes the game generally better, but also increases its costs. Right. You will also see the graphic type you selected when you define the game. This just to remind you, yeah, right, okay. So, this is medieval action, Castle Wars, so we want world design to be big, and we want it to focus on graphics a lot. Sounds, not much sound. That should be fine. Here we go, look at this. The development of your first game is now complete. You can press the finish button to publish your game, but you should only do that once you fix the majority of bugs. Releasing a game without fixing bugs can severely affect your ratings, so you should only ever consider that if you need the cash. Right. There we go, the bugs, one more, there we go. Is he going to add anything else? Oh, there's another bug. Anything else? No, we'll finish it there. The development of your game has now finished. While developing games, you gain experience and improve your skills. When development is completed, you will be presented with a summary of the experience gain. Right, here we go. I hope SJH Games, their first game, does well. Castle Wars, come on. Right, this is experience gained. Ooh, so we're d doing pretty well. We'll level up quite quickly on these. But at the moment, nothing's going to level up. But that's good. Right, let's get ready and let's release the game. Create a game with a good theme and genre combination. Another achievement! Woo! Your game is now complete and will be handed off to the publishing. We should see reviews and sales coming in for the game soon. Right. So while you develop the game, you also gained research points. You can use these points to unlock new options. Yep, I know that already. But I want to see the reviews. Are they going to come in? Here we go. The first reviews for our newly released game, Castle Wars, came in. Oh, I'm seeing tens. Eight. Love it. Star Games. Six. I like it from Informed Game. No, uh, I can't speak. Five. Have seen better from Game Hero. And a seven. Enjoyable from All Game. That is brilliant. But the SJH Games, their first game, Castle Wars, is a success with reviewers. Um, I actually played this as a test run on my laptop and my first game did awful. So this, this is just brilliant. <laughs> Let's see how much sales they do. SJH Games, a newcomer in game industry, has just released their first game, Castle Wars. The game received favourable reviews. With such a good start, SJH Games are sure to gain fans quickly. Yes! Come on! Ah, oh, here we go. Here's the unit sold. Whoa! 3.1 thousand! I think that's thousand, K, okay, isn't it? 
Oh. <laughs> Three point one thousand unit. Yeah, there. Three over three thousand units were sold in the first week. We made it in the charts at fifty-two. Yes. Now that your game is on sale, you receive the income from the game every week. You can see how well your game is doing by looking at the sales graph graph in the top right of the screen. So that's here. Castle Wars was so successful that we now have twelve fans. That is brilliant. I can't believe Castle Wars was such a huge success. I think we might have to make a sequel. What do you think? Should we? I think we should have. We have to make it. Look, it's going back up. We're gonna have to make a sequel. Castle Wars have achieved a company sales record with over 10k units sold. This is an important milestone in the history of SJH Games. Ah, oh, this is brilliant. I'm loving this. The sales are just coming in. We we have to make a sequel. We that it has to be done. Castle Wars 2. Yes. Any more? Oh, we're still getting sales. Castle Wars is now off the market. It sold tw over 12,000 units, generating over 88,000 um pounds in sale industrial news recent market studies suggest that the Gavodo G64 is steadily outsetting competitors in the PC sector well we don't care about that because we've just seen that Castle Wars has done really well on PC so yeah there might be a decline in the amount of people using PC but we're, we're sticking with PC for a while so let's jump in straight into a wait let's research something yeah don't care about this tutorial Try to develop games with different topic and genre combinations for a slight research boost, okay? We want a new topic. Sci-fi. Ah, oh, we've got to get sci-fi. Start the research. Come on, Sam. Right. We've got to make Castle Wars 2 after this. Here we go. There we go, have we got it? There we go. You have successfully researched a new topic, sci-fi. Right. Develop new game. This is Castle Oh Castle Wars 2. Actually, let's do it like Yeah, like that. Castle Wars 2. So we're gonna do medieval again. And it was an action, wasn't it? So this time, we're going to do it as an RPG. Castle Wars 2 is a medieval RPG. And we're going to do it on the PC again. I think the market share is slightly decreased, but that's fine. We're still going to do it. We're going to do 2D graphics again. That, 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 was, that was great. So here we go. Engine, right. It's an RPG, so we want the gameplay focused on, and we want the story quite focused as well. The engine we don't really want to focus on too much. Oh, we got one bug, two bugs now. Right, level design. We really want level design. AI a bit, and dialogues a bit. That, that's fine, we should leave it at that. Right, more news. According to rumours, the Japanese company Ninvento... <laughs> if you, do you guys work out who that is? That is Nintendo in real life. Ninvento is planning to launch its very own home gaming console. Ninvento is known for the wildly successful arcade game Dinky King. <laughs> Dinky King. Is, it, is that Donkey Kong? I think I think it might be Donkey Kong. 
Oh dear. You got you gotta love this game. <laughs> Many industry experts doubt that home gaming consoles will take off, but we are eager to see what the Nintendo will deliver. Well we clearly know that home gaming consoles will take off. So um, for now we're gonna stick with PC, but when the Ninvento 64 comes out, we're gonna we're gonna make games on there. Cause PC dies down a bit for a few years and then starts coming back. Oh, we've got quite a few bugs. Right, so Medieval RPG Castle Wars 2 wants good world design and good graphics. And we want some decent sounds as well. Uh not too much sound, so that that should be perfect. I'm excited about Castle Wars 2. I hope it's a huge success. Better than um, last time. Oh, there's there was eight bugs. Alright, we'll just wait a bit to see if there's um, any more. There we go. Anything else? Come on, Sam. You want to add anything else? Now nah, we'll finish it there. We got a new record. I can't remember what that is. Te the technology research. What's that? I I've forgotten. But this stuff looks like it's going to level up quite soon. So let let's release the game. I'm excited. Today, an inventor has confirmed recent rumours and announced their plans to release a new home gaming console called TES early next year. Ah, oh dear. The names on this are just hilarious. The console features cartridge-based games and a uniquely designed controller. Right, I don't think we're going to um, produce games for the TES, um, but we'll wait till the uh, 64 comes out. But here we go, here's the first reviews for Castle Wars 2. I'm excited, I hope it's good. I'm seeing 10s. Seven good game from Star Games. Oh, six shows potential from Informed's game. Six, Medieval and RPG is a great combination from Game Hero. Six, I like it from all games. So that is brilliant reviews there. Let's see how many units we sell. 4K. We've we got a thank you to Sam Higgins from Patrick and Daniel Clug from Greenheart Games. Hi, Sam Higgins. We are the creators of Game. Oh, and we like you. Ah. A nice little pop-up during the game saying thank you for purchasing the game and supporting it. Ah, uh, well, it's a good game, so thank you very much. It's their very first game and it means a lot to them and that I am enjoying it. Yes, I am. So with your purchase, you support our little startup and this will hopefully make sure that we can bring you more games. I really hope... Um, Greenheart Games do produce more games because I'm loving this. Uh, this we've been running uh, recording for just under 20 minutes, and I don't plan to stop yet. Um, all my Minecraft videos are normally about 18 minutes long. Well, these videos are going to be <laughs> going to be a bit longer. So seriously, you rock! Ah, oh, good. Thank you. Thank you very much. That's. I really like it when they put thank yous in the game, that's, that's really nice. So contract work. So hi there, I've just finished Castle Wars 2 and I'm imp impressed with your talent. Ah, I'm in the contracting business and we could use skills like yours. If you ever, if you are ever short on cash, just let me know and I will see if I have some work for you. Jason. Right. So we've got contracts unlocked now, so that's good, so we can make more money there. I don't know if Castle Wars has sold, it doesn't look like it's going to sell more than um, the first Castle Wars, but sometimes that happens, the second one isn't as good as the first one, and maybe the third one is even better than all of them. So maybe we should give it a go, but P 
People liked the RPG. Medieval and RPG work really well, supposedly, so we might give it a go. But I think sales are slowly... There we go. It's off the market and it sold tw over 12,000 units. Um, didn't make as much sales as last time, but... Um, 12.6 units sold for Castle Wars, 12.3 for Castle Wars 2, so not as good, but it's still really good. We got to the rank of 51, so, so that's, that's good, that's good. We've got 135 fans, which is good, and news to stand today, the new game platform, TES by Ninvento, has been released. Right, well, we're not going to make um, a game on that, but we're going to develop a new game, and we're having a break in the Castle Wars series, and um, we're going to do a sci-fi game, and the genre is going to be... Um, action, action sci-fi game, and it's going to be on the PC. We're sticking with PC for now, and it should be called. Um, what should it be called? Um. Oh no, I can't think of anything. Oh, why can't I type? It's not letting me type. There we go. <laughs> Time traveling. Is traveling got. No, I can't remember how to spell time traveling. That's really bad. Time travel monkeys. There we go. Time travel monkeys. That is um, the next game from SJH Games, so we're going to have 2D graphics again, start development, oh. and we're not really going to focus on engine this time, we're going to focus more on the gameplay and the story and quests, so that should be fine. There's no bugs at the moment, so that's good. Dialogues. Well, it's going to be mostly just monkey noises like Ooh, ah, ah, ah. So we'll decrease the dialogues a bit and we'll focus more on level design and AI Oh, we've got one bug and another bug Alright, world design. Well, this is sci-fi time traveling. We, do, we don't want to focus too much on that um, graphics, we'll boost up the sound a bit, that, that should be fine. Oh, quite a few bugs there. So let's get these bugs ironed out. See if there's anything else before we move on. There we go, a few more technology points. Oh, another bug. And I think that is it. So time travel monkeys. I wonder how we'll do. So a new record for technology. And gameplay has leveled up. That's good. And so is level design. And so is AI. And world design. And graphics. And myself has have leveled up. So quite a few level ups there. So I hope Time Travel Monkeys does well. Time Travel Monkeys, the reviews have come in. I've seen tens. Six could have been more Star Games. Oh, I'm sorry, Star Games. Six, their focus on gameplay served this game very well. Thank you, Informed Gamer. Six shows potential from Game Hero. And five, they shouldn't forget about engine from all games. 
Right, okay. Well, let's see what the sales are. It's pretty good, some good sales. They are some good sales, not as, not as good as Castle Wars, I don't think. I think it's about 12,000 units for Castle Wars. I don't think, don't think time travel monkeys will reach the amount that Castle Wars have. But, um, time travel monkeys have done better than I thought, so, so that's good. It's off the market. And it sold 10,000, over 10,000 units, generating 70,000 in sales. Well, that's good. That, that's really good. So, we're going to leave this episode here. Um, this has been Game Dev Tycoon. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. It's a really good game. And I'm going to leave that news just popping up. But, um, yeah, I really recommend you spend some money on this game and um, yeah just buy it yourself and give it a go and please show your support to this um, video because it's totally different to Minecraft and if you really like it if the comments are good if the amount of likes are good then I'll I'll continue recording videos on in on here and maybe possibly do a series on this because I really enjoy this game so Give this a thumbs up, a like, comment, um, tell me what you like, and maybe what the next game should be um, called it for SJH Games. And um, yeah, I'll see you in my next video. Bye!